doctor testing is taking too long. And I say that because in Indiana, for some labs, it's taking five to six days to get results. Isn't that counterproductive to this very message that you're trying to get people to identify them, to self-quarantine? Five to six days is a lot of time. First, I want to thank the people coming forward to get tested because we do have people coming forward who don't have symptoms, who, want, who may have been exposed, and finding those individuals is absolutely key. Optimally, I would like tests to be immediately available, and we do have some of those tests like that, but not enough of them around the country. We also have tests that can take 24 to 48 hours, and we need to keep within that time range. And so right now with the stress on the system, I mean, we're doing more tests today than we did a week ago or two weeks ago, but we need to do even more because we have to decrease those turnaround times. And so the president and vice president have really charged us to figure this out and really bring on additional testing capacity through working with our universities to bring on their equipment Secondly, pooling in areas like this, because of your low test positivity, you could combine specimens once in the lab and run f four to five tests together and only retest those positive pools. That would decrease your turnaround time from five days to one day. And so there are innovative pieces we can do. And thirdly, we recently had a new test come out. It's called the VD Veritor. We're immediately shipping that to nursing homes and long-term care facilities so that they can do routine rapid testing of their residents and workers. And so really moving forward with different platforms, different ideas, different innovations, because we agree with you, we have to get the turnaround times down. I was gonna ask because the way I asked that question, I sounded sort of incredulous, five to six days. But so is that too long from a, a doctor's perspective or is that a reasonable amount of time to wait for results? Well, it's too long for the person because obviously they were worried. That's right, why they came right, forward to get a right. test. And so they're gonna worry for five days and I don't want anyone to have to worry for five days. Secondly, it doesn't work for public health. In other words, if you went for a test, you came forward because you thought you were exposed. Maybe you don't have symptoms. You came forward, you agreed to get a test. And now you're still doing everything you used to do and you could have been positive and you would have stopped those things if you thought you were positive. So while we have these delays, we should be telling everyone, if you're concerned enough to go and get a test, please protect others around you for those, however long it takes to you get that result back. And while we work, to really decrease those turnaround times, work with us to protect others while you're in that unknown period until we can get those testing times down. And